Taking a look around the state, a 16-year-old driver was killed when a pickup truck slammed into an SUV, leaving a Swanee apartment complex on Sunday afternoon. The teen was driving a Nissan Pathfinder, waiting to exit the residences on McGinnis Ferry, according to Swanee Police Department. The Nissan was stopped when it was hit just after 1 p.m. by an out-of-control Dodge pickup truck. The 16-year-old, whose name has not been released, was deceased at the scene, according to police. The truck hit several other vehicles before it finally swerved into a private drive and onto the complex of McGinnis Ferry Road. The driver of the Dodge was taken to, to uh, Gwinnett Medical Center with injuries that were not considered to be life-threatening. Police have not said if the driver of the Dodge pickup truck will face charges. A total of four people suffered injuries at the scene, according to officials. Well, the city of Atlanta impounded nearly 3,000 improperly parked e-scooters off of city sidewalks over the summer and released all of the devices back to the respective companies that owned them without collecting a penny. The impound fees would have amounted to at least $200,000, and the city has no explanation as to why they were not collected. Scooter enforcement has been an ongoing issue for city leaders since four riders were killed over the summer. One of the biggest complaints from residents is improperly parked scooters uh, blocking sidewalks. A Public Works Commissioner uh, James Jackson told a council committee last week that his department impounded 2,897 scooters between July the 1st and September the 30th. Council members were outraged at the city's failure to collect on the fees. An average of, uh, on average, the city impounds 50 scooters every day and should collect a $75 impound fee for each scooter. There's also a $25 charge for each additional day the scooters remain impounded. The permits allowing scooters to be on city, uh, city streets require companies to comply with Atlanta scooter regulations, including paying impound fees. Atlanta Public Works Commission stated that they are working to enhance the enforcement and the oversight to ensure that they are receiving the funding from the impoundment activity. Well, the private investigator implicated in Gwinnett County's courthouse hacking uh, saga has pleaded out on Thursday, receiving downgraded charges in exchange for his testimony as the case against his co-defendants moves forward. Uh, T.J. Ward uh, entered a no-lo plea to two counts of misdemeanor criminal trespass and was sentenced to two years of probation. Uh, Ward apologized to the, to the court for having to deal with the complicated case, which also involves a local judge and a sex offender. Gwinnett County's Superior Court Judge Catherine Schrader, uh, who was suspended last month by the Judicial Qualifications uh, Commission, uh, reportedly hired Ward in February to look into her fears that someone was trying to hack into her work computer. After being hired, Ward purportedly hired another man named Frank Carrick uh, to install a monitoring device on Schrader's computer. Ed Kramer, the uh, co-founder of the popular Atlanta sci-fi convention called Dragon Con and a registered sex offender, was then hired to keep tabs on the activity. Schrader, Ward, Carrick, and Kramer will, uh, were all indicted in September on three counts of computer trespass, uh, were also accused of inappropriately interfering with uh, and removing data from uh, and altering Gwinnett County computer network. Well, that's the news for now. I'm Charles Howard for SCB TV News. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. God bless you. Thank you for watching. When you shop Jim Ellis Toyota of McDonough, home of the no dealer fee, you pay less because we say yes. Our large inventory of new vehicles include lifetime oil changes and lifetime powertrain coverage. Plus, get certified pre-owned Toyotas from $12,991 and pre-owned vehicles under $10,000. Shop the all-new Jim Ellis Toyota of McDonough or online anytime at JimEllisToyota.com, where you pay less because we say yes. Jim Ellis Automotive, where you can always expect the best.